So I'm Callum Myler. I'm here at my home track, Rye House. This is where it started for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically my home for karting. I used to come here, well, when I first started after school and uh, put a few laps in and get used to it. Um, so this is where I learned how to race and how to become the driver I am today. One of the things that I remember being at this track is having all the mechanics lined up here. And obviously you're looking for your one, telling you what the gap is or to push a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's quite a, quite a weird feeling, honestly. I haven't been here in a long time. This, this was really where I practiced and learned to develop my skills. So since I came here when I was seven or eight years old, it hasn't changed much in terms of the track, the layout. I think they've always kept a similar layout, uh, which was great for the racing because you've got a long enough straight, a great first corner where uh, you need to always be on the limit, and a lot of hairpins where it's great for overtaking. So I really enjoyed it. You have one of every type of corner here, really, and you get that feeling for learning and needing to know where to go quick and also it's quite opportunistic with the with the overtaking moves so it was a great track to start at um, and probably a, a good reason why uh, well I'm where I am today and maybe where Lewis is today as well. So this is the hairpin uh, where I learned most of my braking skills. At that point, Steve, my mechanic and coach at the time, uh, he basically forced me to brake as late as possible. And the first couple of times, obviously, you, you panic when you're young and uh, go a little bit beyond uh, <laughs> what, was, what was probably the ideal line. Um, but then you learn to, to adapt and get as close to the apex as possible, braking as late as possible. Um, I have to say as well that in the races, this is probably the corner with the most carnage. Um, first laps are always a, a difficult one here to manage and I've had a few races ruined but also a few races won by this corner. So it's the best of both worlds, a love-hate relationship. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was one, one that was always great to nail as well in a quali lap. Um, yeah, makes, it, makes it special but not a lot of runoff, so if you do make a mistake, you, you're, you're pretty much in the wall. Um, so that's what I like about this track, you know, it's, uh, it's a good experience to come to, you feel really on edge and you know there's not much margin for error. racing the British Championships and um, yeah, I was competing with Lando Norris, uh, Dan Tickton, all guys I've raced with in cars as well now uh, in Formula 3 and Formula 2. So yeah, it's, it's where everyone starts. Uh, this is the place that, that I started and um, we'll hear the train go past now, but it's not too bad. purity I, I love you know being so close to the ground and I think that's what attracted me to this sport being so fast so close to the ground when you're seven eight years old there's nothing like it and I just love that feeling it's like a controlled roller coaster in a way and you know you can do the same thing every lap and the competition side of things as well always adds adds spice I guess I went from rental casting uh, a couple of times rental casting to then getting my own car and practicing and then uh, I worked my way through the through the local tracks I mean within an hour there were I think, three or four tracks um, I went from racing one weekend a month to two to three to then doing British Championships and then uh, when I was 11 or 12 moving to international racing um, where I was racing uh, I think at the time it was Pair 3 uh, which was a junior car, and then KF, uh, which was the seniors. Um, I went on to win the European Championships, 
after that, uh, got a call from Red Bull to do Formula 3 the next year, uh, which was 2015, I think I was 16 years old. Um, and then I did three years of Formula 3, uh, only one with Red Bull at the time. Um, and then uh, spoke to Ferrari, joined the Ferrari Driver Academy, went into something called GP3, then two years of Formula 2, and now I'm in the position where I'm test driver for Scuderia Ferrari in Formula 1. So I'm racing uh, this year in the past 24 hours in GT World Challenge Europe, um, plus a couple of other races as well. Uh, I should get some experience in the Formula 1 cars, uh, do some FP1s, um, hopefully to put myself in a good position for next year, hopefully to be in a seat for Formula 1. What advice would I give to maybe a younger me? Um, enjoy it, you know, with any sport you have to enjoy what you do, there's no point uh, doing it because someone else wants you to or uh, for the sake of doing it. I mean, it's there, there's a reason I love this sport and there's a reason I do this sport because I just love driving. You can put me in a, a rental car, a golf buggy or a Formula One car and you know, I still push it the same. Um, I still really love it. So to the younger guys, go out, find what you enjoy. Um, if it's most sports, awesome. Um, and then yeah, work, work hard, uh, lots of practice, um, yeah, find your feet and pursue it.